It's hard to beat the glitter and glow of glass Christmas ornaments. For many people, the Christmas tree just wouldn't be the same without them. They were invented in the 19th century by a German glassmaker who decided to improvise because he couldn't afford to decorate his tree with the usual nuts and candy. They're Christmas eye candy and taste just as good as regular Christmas candy when you bite into them. To make some of the ornaments, they make a plaster mold from a preliminary sketch and then lock that mold inside of an ornament sarcophagus, which will adorn them with jewelry from their secular existence. They take a glass cylinder and apply extreme heat to its ass until it buckles, just like my ex-wife. The glassmaker blows into the pipe end until the glass's erection is bound to burst. Again, just like my ex-wife. Some glass tubes have bulbous centers, and that section is fired by a man who, presumably, can no longer feel his hands due to extreme heat damage. He places the bubble into a molding press, and blows, like my ex-wife, until the glass takes its shape. Santa Claus. He melts off one of the ends, gives the glass a kiss, and then scorches Santa's face until he shares the secret of where his stash of presents is hidden. As a reward for betraying the North Pole, the ornament is put on an ornament-style ferris wheel. Do not ride this ferris wheel, or you will die. Glass is only moldable for a short period of time after it's fired, so glass technicians all pump their earphones with 80s speed metal to keep them energized and productive. Now it's time to give the ornaments their shine. The glass is penetrated without protection, ex-wife, and filled with a shiny solution. The ball is dipped into hotter than cold water, which causes a chemical reaction with the shiny solution, making the ball shake ever so slightly. Another dip in the liquid floods it with gelatin mirrors that were resting at the bottom of the tank, finalizing its shine. The shiny solution is emptied into a pipeline and sent to the Gatorade factory. They also use this to add shine to the figurines, like this one of the Easter Bunny. Next, the glass is drowned in artificial flavoring. This ornament's flavor is cherry. This ornament of the baby Jesus gets a personal touch. White lacquer is airbrushed on to apply him with confidence, but as you can see, it just fades away over time, like real confidence. Some details are painted by hand. This Robert Downey Jr. ornament has his robe trim painted on to provide more visual depth. Glue is also painted onto some ornaments. This is to give them something to chew on while they endure an increasingly uncomfortable sand bath. It's a painful process, but the only way to perfectly clean the ornaments. A metal cap with spiked prongs is forcefully inserted into the top of the figure, completing the ornament lobotomy, ensuring they will not come to life at night and try to kill you. Time to delicately package the ornaments so they won't break during shipping. The factory wants to make absolutely sure that the only time these will break is when your cat sneaks his way inside the Christmas tree. Mr. Bristopheles, no! God damn it. 